we do aim horses at the Unibet Summer Plate every year, you know, we always have one or two runners in it. I suppose it's a race that we um, get a horse ready for it, you know. Barry Cassidy and all them, and yes, sir, they were all novices coming through, you know. So they were probably the right side of the handicapper when they ran. More bucks had tumbled down the handicap before we'd bought him. We'd run him in Perth, he'd run really well there, and we thought oh, we'd try him in the summer plate, and he went on and won it anyway. I think he's lost his reins on more bucks. More bucks, though, fights back valiantly. This is Peter Bowen's race. I thought then last year Frankie de Burley was the ideal horse for it. Frankie de Burley and James Bowen are going clear on the run to the line. Frankie de Burley wins the summer plate. I think they, they've got to stay well, you know, because it's two miles six, but they go a strong gallop from start to finish. And although um, Frankie de Burley's won over three mile in his last couple of runs, he'd, um, I don't mind bringing him back to two six because they go such a strong gallop and he jumps so well and he's, he handles a big field. He he's, goes well in the big field of the big handicap. Frankie de Burley's proven, but he's carrying 12 stone this time. Although he's only two pounds higher in the handicap. Last year, I think there was a 150 horse in it. But this year, he's rated 139 and he's top weight with 12 stone. I think he's got a huge chance, you know. Everything's gone so well for him. We ran him the last time and he finished third the last day, but that was over three mile two. And I think he was unlucky to bump into two very well handicapped horses the last time he ran. We would like to put him in the top of him when he finished fourth to one of ours, to McTotty. Um Then he came out and ran an absolute blinder, won as he liked, and um, he talks it over three mile. And then, like I said, the last run he had was, I think he was, he met the winner, I think, had been dropped 20 pounds in the handicap. He's run an absolute screamer. Like. They just did their final bit of work this morning. They both worked really, really well. I wouldn't be able to pick one from the other, really. Because Statuario, he ran in the summer play trial, ran an absolute blinder, finished second. Very happy with him. He's in there with a nice weight at 10 stone 8. He's been a little bit frustrating coming second each time he's run, you know, but he did run very, very well, stepped up in trip last time. That was the ideal opportunity, but he was second again, so. I think maybe two miles was a little bit too sharp for him, and he definitely needs to go right handed. So Max Raisin should suit. Hopefully, he'll get his head in front in the big one. I've been through this, this year's race and I don't think there's nothing there that's unexposed. So, you know, I think they're all up to the limit in the handicap. I am a bit worried with Frank de Burley carrying 12 stone. And I'm a bit worried as well about Statuary being second so many times. So, yeah, I think it's a race that can produce a, a lot of nice horses from there now. Yeah.